What do you guys think? <laughs> How nasty could it possibly be? Oh man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is the Vikings Garage. Today, the weather is terrible. It's been snowing. It's supposed to rain all day. I had some projects that I have to finish up with the Forerunner, but that's not gonna work, obviously. So I decided instead I'm gonna drive two hours to a junkyard in the rain so that we all can discover why are three Forerunners in a junkyard. I find that to be way too unusual. Uh, I'm eager to see what happened to these cars. I've never actually seen a Forerunner in this junkyard. And I've been there quite a few times. And also there is a no three Tundra in there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's probably a rust issue. But what do you guys think? Stay tuned and together we're gonna discover what actually happened to these cars. I really don't have an answer for you guys and honestly man take it from me yes I could be biased because I work on uh, Toyotas all the time I own a Toyota obviously I am practice what I preach they don't mechanically have any issues that I know of that would cause them to land in the junkyard so either there's an extensive amount of body work that was needed structural damage to the frame with rust I really don't think although we're not going to test that completely that they have a seized engine or things of that nature because that just doesn't happen to forerunners I do want to know the thoughts you guys have on this uh, do you find forerunners and Toyotas in general to be as indestructible as I claim them to be or do you still have your doubts Drop the comments down below. I would love to hear what the, your thoughts are on uh, this topic. But yeah, we are uh, we're approaching, guys. We're getting there. We will uh, hopefully find answers. Look at that. And a jiffy, we're here. Thirty years, huh? I thought this place was actually older. I always enjoy watching these uh, beat up old trucks just sitting here yeah that's when you know you arrived so get through the gate wow this is definitely gonna be very hard to um, document but I'm gonna try my best guys you basically the way this works you can either check online or at the desk. You can ask the girl, which I did. And we have to find row 100s, 103 and 320s. So that's what we're doing now. As you can see here, you do find a little bit of everything. Pretty sure that's a Mitsubishi 3000 GT or whatever's left of it. Yes, man. Can we even open this door? Yes. See what I mean? Whatever is left of it. <laughs> of course. All right. So hopefully I don't kill myself here. But here's suspect number one. The reason why I was saying that, guys, is because this thing is literally... Um, ice everywhere so here's our first one and just as expected this thing has definitely been hit in the front so it's been involved in an accident and the owner at this point 
obviously wow this is pretty buckled in here let's try to get this. wow so yeah that's pretty obvious why they did what they did funny though that even on a 97 engine is gone man they took the engine out of this one and i guarantee you before this car gets crushed that transmission is going to be gone but uh i'm pretty surprised gotta say these uh frame railings actually don't look terrible i would say they're not that bad see this this i can't stand why can't you just disconnect stuff you got a cut wire like these guys are terrible look at this anyways so there's the reason why let's just look at the rest of the car shall we while we're here this is actually a very nice limited one two-toned probably leather yes see leather parts but yeah leather seats as you can see oh man i wonder how many miles were in it sure it served somebody uh very well for as long as it was on the road yeah so first one it's been in an accident wow that's <laughs> that's pretty ingenious oh 97 i kept pulling you at 97 that's a 90 that's a 2002 please excuse me forgive me guys on that one i mean you guys see they even have all sorts of mobile homes and whatnot a bunch of vans piled up over there that's kind of funny and this is where your car is going to end one day and it's going to go and be all smashed up into pieces but let's find the one on 321 this one is the 97 that's why i got confused and this one is black so let me find it for you guys and i think i see it already I believe it's the very last one of course oh, why wouldn't it be check the pack first yes 97 see you why are you here sir what happened to you oh boy <laughs> you think you've seen the seat wear huh this one uh i don't think he got his money's worth oh it's actually pretty low mileage 151 thousand. that's nothing no, uh, I don't know. I don't see anything obvious. Boy, it's definitely... let's try not to fall. That's another limited. Really cool. I love how they used to, they still kind of do the gold accent on these uh, cars. Toyota has always done that. You can do gold badging if you choose to do so. There's clearly lots of rust going on with this guy. So I'm not even gonna lay on the ground or anything. I will try to get a best shot for you guys, but I wouldn't be surprised if this frame, which obviously has been treated at some point, you can tell somebody's been in here. But I can assure you, it's probably uh, done. It's probably has a hole somewhere. Pumpkin just sitting there. Ooh, even the antenna grommet is gold. Fancy. So, I guess the engine, no engine. Oh, we still got an engine. 151,000. It's probably got some more life left to it. But yeah, if you look down there, the frame on this guy I guarantee you is probably cracked somewhere about to split something of that nature yeah that's <laughs> if I don't fall second one of two let's see if we can find the third one so here we found a Tundra 2003 Tundra so cold, I can barely even talk. Uh, yep, engine is still in it. 
These are obviously pretty good engines to use the FE. Suicide back doors again. Wow, they seem to have a lot of limiteds here. Some of the interior is still in it. Still looks all right. A little bit of a tape job with the steering wheel. Obviously no cluster, so we don't know the mileage. But why is it here? Why is it here? I mean, if I had to guess, I'm gonna say this guy is most likely the culprit. As uh, these tundras, if you did not get the recall done, chances are. 2003 this frame is probably about to split somewhere on the other side of this area for sure but yeah still for the most part somewhat in one piece third four room is in sight and look at that <laughs> well it's not limited oh yes it is never mind spoke too soon and again gold emblems and yes again clear signs of an accident here in this corner ints why it's here now i'll strip this it wow very a lot of the stuff went on this guy mileage appears to be close to 200 wow what a shame i don't really understand why they broke the cluster but maybe they got upset that it didn't reach 200 tiles huh all in all not so bad i mean yeah that does look pretty bad Red calibers, huh? A wet engine. This is clearly going to be useless at this point. But all in all, she is here, somewhat in one piece. But again, in an accident. How's the frame looking on this guy? Let's see. Wow, that's uh. Looks really good actually. <laughs> Can we see the back? Oh. Wow, I am impressed. This frame is really good. Really, really good. But you see, stuff like this at this age, it's just bound to happen, obviously. We are plagued with the rust, but look, somebody could use perhaps these crossbars. You know, the wing. I mean, I don't know as much about these older ones as you guys, but hey, when you can find some of these parts online, this is an option for you, you know? Oh, what is that? Oh, that looks like a baseball glove. What is this thing doing here? The first reminder that you never know what you're gonna find when you come here. Speaking of which, wow, I mean, looks pretty wet over here, but yep, every time I see stuff like this, I start getting the hint that maybe somebody got hurt on one of these cars, and I start feeling a little uneasy about being here. So, I think with this one, I am gonna wrap it up for today for obvious reasons guys this is like terrible terrible conditions to be here that's basically ice frozen and uh you gotta be very careful otherwise you get hurt and you do not want to get hurt around here so yep i am tagging out that's a shame <laughs>
Well, guys, that is it for the video. What, what are your thoughts? Do you really think that most of these... Yes, this is my sock that is now... That's pretty gross, I know. Sorry. Why am I even sharing this nonsense with you guys? But anyways, it's really hot, uh, wet out there. Way too cold. Dangerous. Frozen. Solid ground. But we saw these cars out there. What, what do you guys think? you think they could have been saved? Or do you think that was a little premature putting them in here? Honestly, I've been coming to this place for almost five years now. And, and I got to be honest with you. I've never seen that many forerunners in here. I promise. Because when you live in states like uh, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, and so on, you're affected by the rust ring. This is what you're dealing with. Um, can you get 20, 30 years out of a car around here? Yeah, you can, but you have to be very much conscious on the bottom of the car, especially in the winter time, because they are ruthless with the salt in the roads. I get it. My wife made a very good point. But honey, they got to keep the roads uh, clean and dry for us to drive. I get that, but boy, I wish there was some kind of compromise that would allow us not to get such a beating on our cars. But at that point, when the car gets to such a condition, is it really worth saving? I mean, we are constantly evolving. New technologies are always coming out. Is it really worth keeping the car after 30 years? What are your thoughts, guys? I mean... I get it, some cars have sentimental value, but 30 years is a long time, honestly. What do you guys think? As always, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for putting up with my nonsense. Was I too crazy for going out there? Probably, uh, but I am now going home for uh, uh, drier uh, attire. And on that uh, tragic end, <laughs> it's not tragic at all. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later, guys. We should probably just explore one of these mobile homes, huh? What do you guys think? <laughs> How nasty could it possibly be? Oh, man. I'm not even sure I really want to step inside here. First of all, the step is... Oh, the floor might actually be collapsing on this. Oh, this is nasty. This is really nasty. Take a little nap here later. <laughs> not... Yeah, I'm not going to venture too much, man. For all I know, there's an animal in here waiting for me. But hey, look at that. <laughs> you could take a nice nap up there back in the day. Anyways, we'll leave the little monkey alone. <laughs>